Hi, and welcome to the Open Picus webinar number two. Today we'll see how it's possible to easily manage the digital inputs and digital outputs of the Flyport module. So let's take a look at the Flyport pinout. As you can see, each pin is named with a number from 1 to 26 and with a name, for example, D1 in for the digital inputs, a D1 out, D2 out, and so on for the digital outputs. Well, let's see how to recall these pins in our code. We have a double choice. We can use the name, for example, D1 in, or the number, P5. It's the same thing. For the digital output, we can use, for example, D2 out, that is the same, they using P6. Ok, now let's take a look at the IO functions. For example, IO put, to change the state of a digital output. We use the pin name, for example, D2 out, or pin 6, is the same thing, and the value, on, off, or toggle, to change the state of the pin. To read the state of a digital input, we use IOGET with the pin name, for example D1IN or P5. Well, as we have seen, we have by default 5 digital inputs and 5 digital outputs, but sometimes maybe we want a different number of IOs. Well, in this case we can use the command IOINIT, we specify the pin number or pin name, for example P5 or P6, and the functionality out, in, or if we want to enable the pull up or pull down resistors, in up or in down. Now let's see what are pull up and pull down resistors. For example the pull down is an internal resistor that ties the pin to the ground. So if we use a switch for example and we tie the switch to 5 volt or 3.3 volt when the switch uh, is closed, the pin uh, will be on because it's tied to 5 volt. And when the switch is open, it is off because it's tied to the ground by the internal pull down resistor. So we have that the pin is never floating, or it's on or it's off. And we decide it by opening or closing the switch. Ok, for the pull up, we have a similar situation. But in this case we have an internal pull-up resistor that ties the pin to the 5 volt. So we can tie the switch to the ground and when the switch is closed the pin is tied to the ground so it's off. But when the switch is open the pin is tied to the 5 volt by the internal pull-up resistor. So also in this case it's never floating. This can be very useful uh, in the case of push buttons. Push buttons must never be floating, so we have always to use the internal pull up or pull down resistor. And we are interested in knowing uh, if a push button has been pressed or released. As we can see in the table, we are interested in the transition of the state. So for example, when a button is pressed, if we have uh, an in-up, the transition is on to off. Well, the framework has its specific uh, command to manage the button. At your button state, we put the pin name or pin number and we know if the button has been pressed or released. Very easy. Ok, now take a look at the first flyport example. So, we have a flyport module, a breadboard and we open the serial monitor. So now we reset the flyport module and it reboots. We see that the bug messages on the serial monitor and we wait for the flyport to creating its own network. Okay. The LED the red LED is on. Now we can see the yellow LED that is tied to input 1, the yellow cable. As we can see, when we put the cable to the ground, to the pin on the ground, 
the lead turns off if we leave the ground blinks and when we put on 5 volt it turns on maybe it's better we get closer okay ground off leave and it blinks 5 volts on when it's floating the LED blinks turns on and off continuously okay now let's see the push button on the input to that is tied to the red LED as we can see when we push the button the LED turns on and off without no problem it doesn't blink because it has a pull-up resistor the same for the button 3 it has a pull-down resistor it is tied to 5 volt and we push the button so we turn on and off the green LED Also here it doesn't blink. Okay, we have finished this second webinar for other docs, uh, apps and loads www.openpicus.com.